going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review Fear of the Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 2, titled We All Fall Down. Spoiler review, make sure you have seen the episode. It's taking less than three minutes to recap and uh, give the pros, cons, final score. All that good stuff, man. Hey, by the time you guys watch this review, my reaction for the episode should be up. And as well, my reaction for the premiere last week is up every Sunday. As long as there's no copyrights or stuff going on. I will always have my reactions to the episode, man, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. Don't forget, I review other shows like Gotham, Supergirl, Better Call Saul, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, and much, much more. I may review that, that, that the one with Tom Hiddleston this Tuesday, that the, the Night Manager or something. I may review that, uh, as well as some other shows this coming week, man. Uh, and, and also, don't forget, Preacher, May 22nd, so... Just saying... Uh, also, later this week, the Jungle Book Review, Barbershop, Criminal, much, much more movie reviews coming. We're like two weeks away from Civil War, right? So, I mean, get ready, man. Pretty crazy. Anyway, Fear the Walking Dead, great episode. Great episode, man. Uh, and then you're going to get, like, I'm one of those. Yes, season one was just okay. I'm not one of those, like, Fear the Walking Dead, amazing, yes, throw off. I'm, uh, yes, you know. No, it's like, yeah, it's, it's all right. This episode was actually great, where I'm like, like, last week was good, this is great, and I'll tell you about it, so let's get on to it. Two walkers are on the beach in the beginning, and you think they're going to get the kids and everything, and there's a fence right there, and I'm like, Oof. my heart's beating and everything, and it's just a fence right there, so that happens. The kids end up leaving, and the Abigail uh, ends up docking on this uh, area, man, where this little island and everything, so, you know, the crew, our crew comes out, uh, and the boat is still following them, that is like 25 knots away. Uh, so they find people, the guy's name is George, you know, they have this little talk and everything, and all the characters are getting to know each other. Uh, we meet Seth, who's like this little Abraham, basically, with the hair and everything, all that good stuff. Uh, Nick sees um, this kid's toys, he ends up seeing these guys' toys, and like he, they have like, oh, this is the general, that's the neighbor, and like they have dots, like basically like, that's how you take care of them, like you kill them and everything. And, oh my god, Nick was cringeworthy. Like, I enjoyed the scene, but Nick was like, Whoa, look at that cool room, bruh. And I'm just like, God, I don't do this to kids. I'm just like, oh, look at that room, cool, awesome. I'm not like, yeah, look at that room, oh my god, yeah. It's like, he's not like he's three years old. I mean, he's like, probably six. I mean, probably eight or something, so. Come on, Nick, you're better than that. Anyway, George talks about uh, the life cycle and everything, like, I grew up on this land. I'm going to die on this land. And, like, he's, like, he knows Travis's back history, like, of his culture and everything. And he's, like, what a coincidence. You know, that's a coincidence there. As well as, the, like, when the girl, Willa, she's, like, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, we all fall down. And she's, like, why do they put, pack, like, roses in their pockets or, like, posies? And I'm, like, what kid asked that question? I did not ask that question when I was a kid. I found out a year ago what it meant. Who, what, okay. Anyway, I literally did find out a year ago what that song meant. And I'm 18. So, you know, <laughs> and the girl's like, uh, it was a virus. Uh, did they all land? No. And I'm just like, what a coincidence. Ain't that what's happening right now? Deja vu. Anyway, uh, anyway, that happens, man. Um, what is that? Uh, but, 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 but Kay thinks, oh, K, um, Madison, you know, is kind of thinking that George's wife wants to leave the island, you know, she she really thinks that where she's kind of like, I don't know, like, she really seems like scared, almost like George is keeping her there, not like a hostage or anything, but like his way of life and he'll get angry and if she wants to leave and take the kids. So Daniel is talking to Strand and everything, kind of keeping him company, but trying to get him under her skin and everything. Chris helps Seth, uh, killing some of the walkers with an axe and everything, and Chris is really enjoying himself and everything. Travis sees it, he doesn't like it, and him, uh, Travis, and... George ended up going to go repair the fences and all that, and he's talking about, like, ah, well, Travis is like, I want to survive, and he's like, well, it's not good enough sort of thing. You have to put your work in it. I'm just mending the fences, and it's kind of like a medical forkful thing and a physically thing he's doing. I'm like, you see my reaction. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was pretty good there, man. I like that, 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 that the writing there, though. But I'm thinking, it's the next morning. Didn't Strand say we leave in the morning or something, like, right in the morning, and I'm like, are you supposed to leave? Like, what are you guys doing, doing work? Like, you don't live here, leave. So anyway, Nick finds pills and everything, he goes plays with Willa. Alicia is walking around with earphones, like, and I'm just like, what happens if a walker comes up to you and eats you? Like, God, 
how Alicia pisses me off every week, and I'm just like, you piss me off again, oh my god. Anyway, that happens. Uh, you know, we find out that the pills are actually poison. Uh, the ship that was following them is now gone off the radar. Strand leaves the boat, and Daniel finds a safe, which he finds papers that lead to Mexico in there and all that good stuff there, and, uh, like, a, a, you know, an assault rifle. So, um, Willa, we find, well, not that... So guns, and uh, we find out that George's wife wants him, or wants um, Madison and Travis them to take the kids and everything. So they're preparing, and then George finds out, and then all of a sudden, Willa gets sick, and we find out that she took the pills, and she ends up dying, and right away she turns into a walker. She eats into beating her mommy, and George is like, go, go. Like, he's like, I don't want Harry to see this. And I'm like, wait, when you say go, do you mean take the kid with us? Or do you mean, like, go outside? Like, I, he didn't really specify, like, guys, go to the boat, leave. Like, he never really specified that, technically. He just, technically, he said, I don't want him to see this. So, like, go outside. Sort of thing. But, okay, they wanted to take him. They take him to the boat and all that. Uh, so that ends up happening there, man. Uh, George stays behind. They take the kid on the boat, and Seth ends up stopping him. Uh, he ends up taking you know, his brother back. He sees the dead mom and he ends up killing her while Harry waves goodbye as the boat leaves. <coughs> Basically saying, will we see these two characters, the little Abraham and the kid, will we ever see them again? Season three, season four, will we ever see them down the road or will that just be, bye, maybe they survive, maybe they don't, you know, sort of thing, so. And I like it because Daniel had his gun right there, man. He had it right there to where he could have just blew their, his head off, dude. And I would have done it. I would have just shot, get him over with, sort of thing, man. Hey, you have a gun on my people, I shoot you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't do that to my people, sort of thing. So, either way, what did I think about this episode overall, man? First off, the pros. Uh, it was an intense episode, dude. My heart was beating fast. My stomach was turning, it was, you know, raw, and it was bubbly, and, I mean, seriously, it was an intense episode, man, it really got me at times. Uh, the new people, it's great to see new people into the show, even the last an episode. It's interesting to finally have new conversation, meet new people, have a background with them. That was interesting to see. Oh, the walkers, the makeup effects, man, mind you, they're not walking dead walkers. Oh, the walkers look stupid. <sighs> Calm your tits, it's been like a week into the apocalypse. Or like a few weeks or something, some shit like that. Maybe a few months at most. Calm your tits. But either way, they looked cool, man, coming out of the water and the way it's directed. And I did like the directing in here a lot. The directing was really well done for this episode. Uh, the land, finally, we're not on the boat right now. We went to land. And we're not in L.A. We're not in a, a city. We're in this island little thing. And that was a really cool thing to see. We actually see them walking actually walking to a place. That was really cool. That was something to see there. Travis, uh, I think Cliff Curtis doing an awesome job, actually. A little bit more into Travis's character in this episode. That was cool. The opening of the episode, like I told you, the walkers going to the kids and everything, and then the fans, you know, that got me to fear the walking dead. You know, that whole opening there. Uh, Daniel with the gun, him with the assault, uh, you know, him actually finding it. I'm like, Strand's gonna find you. Strand's gonna find you. He never comes, you know. I don't know where Strand goes. But you know how he's talking. He's talking on the phone to somebody, and he's like, yeah, I'll see you tonight. I'll see you tonight. You know, you know how Strand talks. Anyway, I'm like, mm -hmm, Strand, you're not going to see that person tonight. Next episode, it looks like you guys are going to stop again and go do something. So, <coughs> ain't going to be tonight. Uh, either way, uh, Daniel with a gun, too. I really enjoyed that. I don't know if the guy saw Daniel because he was kind of like, I didn't see him like, he was just kind of like, I'm like, do you have tunnel vision or something? Can you, do you not see from the side? I mean, you're young. Can't you see that this guy has a gun to you? Uh, either way, it was right in the moment, dude. Pretty crazy. Uh, again, the action in here. You know, it's literally, there's only like four or five walker kills, basically. But pretty interesting to see the action. Uh, we got more info on the apocalypse. San Diego's not good. A lot of places are destroyed. You know, atom bombs, napalm bombs. Not an atom bomb, but a napalm bomb. I mean, so much shit's going on, man. It's basically... It's crazy, and I love this thing that went on, because <coughs> it's not the apocalypse. It, 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 it's basically, well, it's not the true apocalypse, because I love how he pointed it out. Mind you, you see how you see it, but the way that, you know, I love how he said it wasn't the end, 
uh, how Nick said it because it's not the rapture. Rapture hasn't happened yet, technically. It's from the Bible. It hasn't happened yet, and and of course it's a TV show, so they're not going to deal with the rapture because. But in the world, it would happen. The rapture would happen, but you know it's not going to. It's not that time yet for the rapture. I mean, civilization could build up, and fifty years later, then the rapture could happen. Like it's just it. Ha it shows how it's done. It ain't gonna ever show it on the show. But I like how he was like, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not the rapture. It's not the end of the day sort of thing yet. I mean, so I, I, I like that reference. I was like, that's a really cool reference. You can see. When in my reaction, I was like, there you go. That's the smart, because it's not the end of the world. It's just a zombie thing going on. It's not the end of days. You know, the world's over. You'll succumb to this, you know, or you'll, you'll pass it in time. It could be 30 years, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. You will pass it in time. Uh, the dialogue, all the writing was fantastic for the characters, man. You know, a little, little dialogue going on, I mean, between characters and interesting, again, new info coming from other characters. The twist, and it wasn't predictable, because I did not see Willa dying. I did not see the mom getting bit. Like, I was like, oh, she's going to be smart, because George was like, she's smart, she knows what to do. And he ends up getting bit and everything. I'm like, yeah, there were, like, some non not predictable stuff in this episode. Only cons I have to say <coughs> that I really didn't like about this episode, uh, Seth... Seth, you know, taking the kid and everything. That whole scene there, uh, that scene was just kind of a little bit off for me. Um, I can't really think of other cons, really. I mean, other stuff like Strand basically talking. Like, it's just teasing, of course, man. But, like, just the time stuff that's going on of how it's done. Uh, little stuff like that. Uh, Alicia walking with earbuds and all like that. And her leaving the heart on the thing, like, like, yeah, a random person comes, look, it was Alicia, oh my god, like, you're not gonna know what that is, it's like, no one probably will ever see that clip again, it's gonna rain and get all wet and everything, so, why even write the heart on there, I don't understand, but, you know, it, it, it goes forth, and I'm being a little sarcastic, you know, don't, don't take it all serious, but, you know, it's kind of like, alright, but other than that, I think it was, I can't really say much bad about this episode, uh, I enjoyed seeing the characters finally actually meet new characters and actually talk. And mind you, they died. <laughs> the new characters, of course. Like in Z Nation, when you meet a new character, hey, and then like 40 minutes later, they're dead. You know, but it's interesting to see it. You know, I really enjoy where they're going. Next week, we see the airplane. The Chinese girl survived from it, so we'll see what goes on there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on the end of giving this uh, Fear the Walking Dead episode, season two, episode two, we all fall down. An A minus, man. That was a great episode. A really, really great episode. So, comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought. Make sure to like, comment, and share. I really would appreciate that. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next week for my Fear the Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3 review and reaction. Thanks again. I love you all. Bye bye. My Negan impression should be coming, whether it's tomorrow or this week. Mind you, it's not a class act Negan impression, but I was bored. I put on the camera. I did my impression. Bye-bye.